scantily clad women beating each other's brains out always makes for an entertaining game. Two years after Konami released their first all-female wrestler slash fashion show, Rumble Roses gets a next generation facelift in XX, the series' first outing on the Xbox 360. The game has lots of sick moves and eye candy, but the controls are sluggish and the gameplay gets repetitive. The action in Roses is pretty fast. You have two options when moving your girls around, the D-pad and the analog stick, and neither is completely responsive as you'd like them to be. Whichever you pick, it's always tricky to line yourself up for an attack. And the reaction time is a bit slow, so you might have to try the same move multiple times. Anyone who played the first Rumble Roses, or any other Ukes wrestling title, should be familiar with the controls. Those just looking for another beautiful game to show off their Xbox 360 should start with the extensive tutorial. Ukes has had plenty of experience with the engine, so you can expect a well-rounded wrestling experience. You can strike, grapple, and perform reversals, killer and lethal moves, tag team attacks, and some painstaking submissions. You start out with some kicks, punches, and throws, but after a while, you'll find you're repeating the same moves over and over. As you increase your status, you'll notice that more moves are added to your arsenal, and your character will get stronger. Once your popularity grows over 80, you can gain access to the superstar version of the character with a special costume and moves. The second Rumble Roses has also beefed up its game modes considerably over its predecessor, offering one-on-one, -on -one, handicapped, tag team, three- and four-way battle royale, no-holds-barred street fights, and Queen's matches where the loser gets stripped of all her respect as a penalty. <laughs> Combinations of matches and girls also create a fairly satisfying online experience. I will do my best till the end! One, two, seconds left. Sunrise! We'd be lying if we said the majority of Rumble Rose's appeal doesn't come from the eye-popping visuals, especially considering the majority of gamers are males. There are ten lovely ladies you can select when you start the game, and up to forty you can unlock. Some of them include different versions and costumes, but if none of them strike your fancy, you can customize their outfit and physique. Before you go loading them up, you should know that your character's shape will affect her performance in the ring. But for as many characters as you can choose from, there are only a handful of arenas you can fight in. These areas are diverse in appearance, but not in design. The character models are beautiful and have significantly more detail on the Xbox 360, but like Dead or Alive 4, they look more like pretty cartoons than pretty women. For as raunchy as the game can get, at times it feels like you're watching a really nasty Disney film. Rumble Roses XX is a step up for the series, but not an extremely impressive title for the next generation. Instead of innovating the gameplay Ukes has spent such a long time developing, it primarily focuses on using the 360's graphical power to shove its sexual attitude in your face the entire time. While there are gamers out there who can't wait to buy the new Rumble Roses for exactly that reason, everyone else might not find it enough to make a good game great.